Welcome back to more Pills of Eternity Dead Fire with me, Superdotus. We are continuing the main storyline today. Because you see, I, uh, in some time while we were offline, what I did was I cleared some of the bounties, um, smaller side quests. Uh, in doing that, I think I also actually cleared one of the add ons too. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I've. I went through this Beast of Winter mission. Realised it wasn't as short a mission as I thought it was. So there you go. Um, but also I cleared some of the bounties, so it makes our uh, quest, our journal, a bit easier to deal with, really. Because um, I had loads of things. I also, on doing that, kind of actually found something that would have been helpful if I'd realised it earlier, uh, which was that you could hide all the inc the completed quests I was sure there must have been some way to do that, but for some reason I just couldn't find it. I managed to find it after yesterday's stream. So it really helped. And if the game ever loads, we'll get on with the main storyline quest. Oh, excuse me. I need to mute my phone. Because it's a bit loud. If I put it on my desk, it'd be better to turn off the vibration as well. Because all you'll be hearing is that weird farting noise that we don't need to hear. So yeah, um, my journal is I'm gonna say a lot more manageable now. I can see everything on the one screen. Still got some bounties. Um, sure knew I, I, I did go around that area. I couldn't find them. Uh, somewhere far east of Nekataka, past the Kua o Rikuhu island chain. We haven't gone that way yet, so I didn't see any reason to chase that up. Um, and that's somewhere northeast, far northeast of Nekataka, uh, is that place too. So I didn't think there was any point going that far. These are just missions for our teammates. I did could do that one, but it doesn't seem like it's really that much worth bothering with. So instead, we're going to do this. We're going to sail to Hasongo and get on with the main storyline. The trouble is we'll get there and then it'll it'll be another area where we've got lots of missions we can pick up and I'll end up picking them all up and then my uh, quest log will be full of stuff again. But that's what it's all about. Questing. Leveling up. Preparing for the next big fight. Hmm. The loading screens are a bit of a downside. Um, I don't know if that will be fixed by anything as such. Maybe not running it on a console. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. So, you know. So here we go. Let's get out of here. I also uh, upgraded my ship. I don't know if I did that on stream or not. Um, but yeah, I upgraded my ship. It's a galleon now. So it... What am I doing? I can just leave the city this way. If I go up on the bridge, I can just walk down and then leave by boat. And we'll be on our way. I guess. Do, 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 do. Nice cheerful day, but who knows what we're about to find at Hasongo. You know, maybe we're going to find uh, Aethys has already been there and destroyed everything. He'll be on his way again anyway, I mean he won't be there when we get there obviously. It's too early in the game to be meeting him head on yet, surely. Considering I've not done a lot of storyline, I've just done a lot of side quests recently. <laughs> do, 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 do. So there we go, we've got a galleon. It has black and red sails, I know. Uh, but there you go. And we're going to Hasongo. I've been near it. The last time out. 
I believe. Uh, yeah, so we changed the ship. I'll tell you the one thing I did notice, though. We took a galleon, and... Uh, who's that? Not anyone we need to fight. Obviously, I took a galleon, um, and I was almost immediately attacked about four times by massive ships. So I guess having a bigger ship does put you at bigger risks. But I managed to board their ships and take them down every time, so... Can't complain. Here it is, Hasongo, another big city. I don't know if it'll lock us out of some areas like like uh, Nekataka did, but we'll see. If I remember rightly as well, this is just so we can get the Queen at Nekataka's uh, help. Or support. She says, you have to do this. Okay. But it is to chase uh, Aethys down. Try and see what he's doing. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Another port, another city. Another dead snake. I don't get this at all. There was a Dawnstar settlement. So there was a Dawnstar settlement here. The place got trampled just the same. Yep, doesn't matter who he hurts. That's what he wants. This is why it went all over again. Only now we know it really is Aethys behind it. I'll tell you we one do. thing. <laughs> when we catch up to that unstoppable god statue, me and him are going to have words. We could try. I mean, I don't know if he'll talk much to you. Here we go, look. We have Nagas. So, yeah, we have an island overrun by Nagas. See what's in this house. So I guess this isn't going to be a friendly, cheerful town where you can stop by, put your feet up and have a drink. It's going to be one where you have to annihilate snakes. Like St. Patrick or something. Shut the door quick before the Nagi get in. Yeah, it's already shut. What's going on? D defending the wounded. Guarding our supplies until the Hazanui's reinforcements arrive. Oh, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Where are the reinforcements? Whatever she saw here rattled her to the core. Folks that saw wide win on the field of battle. So she's feigning confidence for the others. Rounded up looking like this. Some got reassigned, but most they sent home. Hmm. Wait, you're not the reinforcements. There, there are supposed to be reinforcements. That's okay. Carew sent me to find out what happened here. Then you'll want my report. Yes. The first yes, thing please. Was the Colossus. It showed up a, a few days ago. A week Aethys, ago. Aethys, yeah. I can't be sure. But it was huge. Yeah. Like luminous Audra. Yeah, that was Aethys. That monster that killed our people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The monster from down here. I told you, Zahira. The God Hammer scrambled their god, and now he's taking his revenge. <laughs> Our gods are about Possibly. Any motivations like revenge. Now, Gon's got a bigger plan for you and me. We're aware of his atrocities. No coincidence your Aethys shows up just as Latharn storms if she wants out. to deny them, that's fine, but... The Colossus was coming right for us. Fleetmaster Co. ordered the Gunhawks and Cannoneers to... Gunhawks? We... They... You what? They fought. No, you didn't. You... Oh. Below, like cowards. Like cowards? Well, you were... If you fought, you'd be what dead too. Someone from the living lands for a shirker. We don't flee. We don't hide. I heard uh -huh. <laughs> artillery fire. Maybe you should. Oh, we'll shake. Then the water started coming in. We came back up, and the others were. I don't know. Like they'd been turned to ash. Yeah, they had their souls. And the Colossus was walking away. Pulled out the of them. The was flooding, where it had broken our walls, and the luminous Audra in the lighthouse had gone dark. Where's the lighthouse? On the western side of the fort. It's a true marvel, a monument to Rawatayan engineering. Yeah, it's what drew him here. Proof we can tame and transform this place once we get rid of the scale bellies. The Naga. The Naga. They yeah. skulked in after once our walls were down. Those of us oh, they were waiting. fought. But those cowards moved through the sunken hallways, ambushed us from below. And those of you who survived? 
Those snakes are little more than animals. No match for trained Rawatai and warriors. When the Hazard uh -huh. well, how come you didn't beat them then? We'll strike back. And I'm afraid there aren't going to be any reinforcements. And double our cannons. So we can destroy that Colossus if it ever comes back. Surely you've got a way of fighting them. The finest cannons and bombards in the archipelago. Yeah, but they're not much use. Barely walk the against people that are three feet away from you. Still hey, we've got these big cannons, this artillery. Yeah, you're not going to drop it three feet in front of you, are you? But you'll need a trained artillerist to aim it. Will I? <laughs> and who's Lotharn? Dawn Stars. I didn't like Dawn Stars. Them to tend the fields that supply the mainland, but they started acting. Well, they are a little bit naive. <laughs> you mean dreaming of things to come? One of them, Lotharn, uh -huh. had a row with the fleetmaster over it. Left angry just before the Colossus showed up. Uh, and you think that's a coincidence? I think they're yeah, because he was coming anyway. Getting back at us for the god hammer. Even if not, they definitely know something. Spitting at our they god? No, absolutely you nothing. Petra, your soul. Is there anything else? Who are you? Zahira, assistant quartermaster. All right, that's helpful. Don't go back out there. You'll be safe here, and just stay yeah, I'm. Sometimes going back out them, there look carefully sometimes you can see them if you look carefully sometimes you can kill them if you swing your sword just saying <laughs> don't go out there she says but she didn't try and stop us she wasn't hammering nails into the door Well, let's go see what's going on. So, the place has been overrun by Naga. Let's see. And there's a lighthouse up there, which is presumably where Aethys wanted to get all the... May as well uh, get rid of the bodies. Get rid of the evidence, you know. What I wouldn't do for a mongoose right about now. For all these snakes. Yeah, damn right. We'll go over there eventually. That's the lighthouse. That's, I'm guessing, the ultimate goal of this section. Could be, a fight. Could be but they're up there. Yes. Can he just shoot those? Just uh, shoot that. Yeah, kill that one, because he's right next to you. I thought those were going to be... Um, were going to be explosive barrels. As it turns out, they're not. I thought, oh, if I send him to blow the barrel up, it might save me a bit of trouble. So this is the... Does it have any ammo? Let's see, can we push it, do you think? Failure! Okay. Well, we can't do anything about that right now. We need to find ammunition for that. Oh, we can create a walkway at a... Uh... No, no, it's just saying it was broken. I was hoping maybe we could attach a line across. Well, let's see what's over here. Oh, let's see what's in here, actually. If there's a cannon bombarding thing on that roof, maybe the ammunition's in the building underneath. That would make some sense, although it would make more sense for it to be stored on the rooftop with the cannon. Ooh, this place has been torn apart. And there's a Naga spirit there. And the cannon, it looks like, is pretty much useless. And I don't think we can go anywhere there. No, and look, there's, there's a... There's a kind of 
watery thing. Can we do anything with this? No. There's a Naga Soul there. There's no way for us to get across there right now anyway. Oh wait, there's more. Including a Coral Naga Warrior. Oh no! <laughs> I think we're lucky to be alive. Move, get out of there before you get blown up. Jeez. That was a bit terrifying. Artillerist's manual. That's good, so we can use that, probably. What's this, a Naga sword? That's quite cool looking. Of course. You should see this. Okay, I see it. I'll take care of this. Go and pick the lock. Ouch! <laughs> we got uh we got shot in the face. Okay, well, there's nothing there that I can use to get into that area. At least not yet. There's not anything I can blow up or anything in the area, is there? No. Okay, well. That's not where we want to be. The trouble I've got is I need to see exactly where these Naga are. If I get too close, I'm going to have to fight a lot of them. Although I'm not entirely sure that I'll need to bombard them. Uh, I didn't click anything. Now i got to wait through that loaded screen again. I didn't actually touch my controls. It immediately sent me back inside. I'll just uh, hold the direction away from where the door was in the hope that maybe that'll stop me going in and out of the door. Three loading screens in a row, fantastic. Okay, so there was nothing on that rooftop in terms of ammunition or anything for that. We've got explosive barrels there. Where are these Naga that they were looking at? I think they're all the way over there. So for now we're okay. As long as we don't go into that courtyard over... I see them. What's he got? A club in his hand? Something's about as useful as a bump on a pickle. I'm not entirely sure what, but... Can we actually get there? Destroy the totem first. And then the Nagas. Especially the Shaman. And the Stormblight. I thought he was dead, he wasn't. He is now. And we'll just get the Archer too. There we go. That's that fight dealt with. Uh, let's just take a look at the map for a moment. I can go across there, but I want to go up to the building at the top here first. And just see if there's anything useful inside. In fact, let's go over there first. We got trouble, folks. Hey, wait, who are they? Looters taking advantage of the situation. I'm going to wish they hadn't. Good. Now the other one. There's not two of them. He's just cast a... an illusion. But regardless, he's gone. Which is good. Yeah. Show them what looting really is. Oh. Nothing useful. I won't sniff any of it, but it wasn't anything particularly useful. I can't interact with that because... I, oh, where can I? No, I can't. I suddenly thought maybe I was underneath it in such a way that I could climb up, but no. So there's a kitchen or something here. Is this... Oh, I think this might be the other side of that... Um, that building we were in, is it? 
No, it can't be because there was a there was a gap between the two buildings. Oops, sorry. I just knocked my uh, microphone a little bit. However, there is. Yeah, this this will take us. Towards the docks. I think I want to go that way. Uh, someone wasn't happy. Aloth was injured by swallowing a mouthful of seawater. Salty. is not the place I thought it was going to be. Give me an egg. But, actually, not much to find here. I'm going to have to rest because we've got people who are uh, injured. We're good. I guess this is going to take us out to somewhere that we couldn't have got to otherwise. Let's see. Let's see where it takes us out. If not, I think we needed to use the other passage, although the other passage might have just brought us outside. And maybe the other passage would have brought us certain death, I don't know. Hard to say. Let's see where this takes us. No, not rest. It's just the hall up next to the other area that we could have gone to. What's up here? This looks potentially like it could be where we'll find some ammunition. Or not. None of this is accessible. I did find a sword, but it's not any better than the one I've got. And some grenades. I don't think they're for the cannon. Was there not a... Oh, that's the place where the hatch was. Couldn't get upstairs in that building, could we? Well, we must have been able to. If there's a hatch there, would that have actually helped me with anything? Hard to tell. Let's find out. It looks like probably not, but... I'm not going to go over there yet. This is basically the other side of that bit of water we played around in for a little bit. No, there was another kind of drowned passage inside that other building. So let's try going the other direction. Probably going to get people injured again. And now I'm injured. Whatever will I do? Or something. Yeah, so we're going to try this. Oh, wait. There is a way up onto that rooftop. Well, let's check that first. And then we'll try swimming the other direction. <laughs> so I guess that would be a way for them to get the food from the kitchen to the, to the dining room. With their little underground tunnel rather than taking it through the streets. Now we have this. I can throw a ro rope and grappling hook across. And now we'll leave. Okay, so we've got a way across there. That might save us a little bit of time. Seems kind of pointless because I don't really see any reason for us to even be up here. Okay, cr cross that. Everybody made it without any problems at all. Okay. It was kind of pointless even going down there though, to be fair. Well, that's just the place we started off in. 
Um, we're going to try the other passage inside here. I think before we uh, before we move on, just to see what the other direction takes us to. And then we can, you know, say for sure that we've properly investigated. Right, that's the dining hall, we know that already. Go left. Try the door open. This will take us into that other place where that uh, Naga spirit is. It looks like everyone made it without any difficulty this time. Maybe the water was fresher. There we go. One Naga soul. What is this? Come closer. I glow you brightly. Glow what were you searching Away. for? Away. The striped fiends profane the island. Burying Andra under stone. Sugan says we must find a way Sugan. in. Sugan. Sugan says I must find a way in. Who's Sugan? Speaker for the gods. Oh, is he? Grandfather to many. So he's their, what, their he shaman? Us here. The okay. The fiends gather at the walls, searching to, not for me, but they see me They see you still. still. You've died. No. Dead. Still searching. Sorry, Stay you're wrong. Longer. Your glow is a comfort here. What are you looking for now? A way, I said. A glowing, glowing shining, shining way. way. Um, me and Yanas see a bright rift, a pillar with roots that seem to reach into the heart of the world. Will that be the Adra? I recognize the this. Way yeah. Glows. Like an angler fish lure. Uh oh, should I be doing this? I will follow the way. I see another glowing thing. This one doesn't feel safe. It's walking. I feel her fear at this walker, that's Aethus. Okay. I hear a chorus of screams, they sound distant and distorted. The pillar is then dark. Now there is no way. And no light. Yep, because Aethus drained everything you out of it. Who amble and wander. I feel it in you. You drift through life like flotsam on the tide. Yeah, I'll restore the Adra. Hey, I... And then I can give you a way. He's not got anything particularly interesting on him. Okay. And neither does he. Ah, some money at least in that one. But nothing really to see here. So let's swim back to the kitchen and get out of here. Move on to the next section. We still need to find some way to load that uh, that kind of bombard thing there. We found a guide on how to use it, but we didn't find any ammunition. At least I don't think we did. Maybe I should go back and see. Maybe getting the manual to it will uh, have allowed us to learn how to turn it. Okay, uh, so let's check this first and then we'll move on to some other area that we've not been to yet. Just want to see if I found anything useful on my journey. Let's see. Examine the platform. Gears are rusted, stuck, you'd need oil. Let's try him again. No, he failed. So we need something first of all to get that working again. Okay. So let's cross this water and see what's over here.
probably go in there, but I don't really see the point. There could be more of them lurking. I uh, went up there, there was nothing useful. Let's go over here. A lot of uh, dead people. I'll take care we won't be coming back. I'm here. Indeed. Okay. Looks like quite... Oh, what are they doing? Why am I on my own? There's a door there. Can we go in this water? Too deep. What's this building? Does it tell us? The engineering workshop. That sounds like a likely place to find how to work that bombard. That is another path. That'll take us... I'm only going to go so far. Probably to about here. So that takes us round near where those Naga are. Well, they're there. Let's come down a little bit further. Probably have to fight something. Okay, maybe not. So what is there here? There's a building. Oh, and there's a Naga. Oh, there's two of them. Right, get back. We don't want to get blown up. There we go. Now they're going to be burned. How to get burned? Well, fire, that's how. We might be in some trouble if I just charge in there. Okay, get out of here. It's dead, stop. Okay. So that'll be a way to get down into that building. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go back to that engineering workshop, I think. Seems likely to me that that's where we need this stuff to get that cannon working. There's the lighthouse. Which we'll have to go to. But first let's go inside this place. If anyone's going to be able to work that bombard it'll be whoever's inside here I would have thought. I expect. We'll see. Okay. Oh, someone's hiding, yeah. So someone's hiding in there. Actually, i tell you what we're going to do. Open. Open. We're going to sneak up a little bit first. And then we're going to attack from the shadows. He didn't know what hit him. The Nagas are gone. Right, so before we open that door, let's just see if there's anything lying around that'll be any use to us. Workshop records. Of stuff they've sent to the Brass Citadel. Okay. Yeah, open this door. All right, but I'm keep well done. It's alright, we're not Nagas. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing your potion. So there's an older man hunched over a work table. He looks up, shielding his eyes from torchlight. Slave sphincter, those snakes were noisy. I don't suppose you brought any extra parchment with you? No, what are you doing? I'm writing it all down. My research, my I'm writing work, stuff down. Something to you need something? Yeah, whatever. Uh, should focus. So nowhere I can stuff. find bombard Only shells. One. Just a prototype. In there. You're welcome to it. I only ask okay. that you compile notes on the blast radius, detonation temperature, smoke formation, debris trajectory. What exactly happened here? Mm. Yeah, lots of things, I know. Made of Adra marched through the fort, grew bright like luminous, and scores <laughs> of soldiers fell. Then the yep. Naga killed everyone else. Except Lothorn. Lothorn, I suppose. Lothorn? Arrived, arrived last week. He's got to be acting on his dreams, trying to help our god. Maybe. Zahira survived along with some others. Safer that way. 
Better odds. I see. Need something? If not, I should focus. How do I get to the lighthouse? Naga everywhere. Suppose your best up along the walls. Up along the walls, west and south. But how to get there? Better perhaps to keep going south, around the edge of the fort, through, through Ko's office. Ko's office. More cover from the Naga. Okay, you can reach the other survivors Safety if you want. Numbers, eh? A comforting illusion. I must okay. My work so He's more interested in his work, but at least he told me that there's a shell in there. All right, so we've got a shell to put in the weapon. We might have to go into that building, though, to find some way of actually using it. Because it's all rusted. Rusty. And without us being able to turn it, we won't be able to help. So, back up the stairs. I know that we're okay from the central group of Naga just now, because they're like right in the middle. They're in that kind of charred section in the centre. So let's try going up to that fleet master's office. Maybe there's someone who could fire the cannon up there. Probably not, but it's worth a try, right? Yeah, the only thing here is that doubt is the stairs in this building. Unless all this does is takes us out the door. No, it must be loading us into an area. Nothing in here though. What's this? A letter for Latharn. Take those. Hey, there's a dog there. Uh oh. We got a ferocious beast watching us. And he looks like he's got Come on then, dog. He's following us now. What's this? That's the expanded design of a Songo fort. That's great. Looks like it's not going to happen now, though. I don't know. I mean, we might be able to just walk in and kill all those Naga in a stand-up fight. But I want to use the, the cannon. Although it would, it would probably draw quite a lot of them to it, wouldn't it? I just don't know. Right, uh, we won't be able to walk there. And the only thing here is a set of steps taking us up to the to the lighthouse. It looks like. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go towards the lighthouse and see what we find out. Well, we find out we can't get in or something. Let's just check what's up here first. Doesn't look like there's anything, but I've been unpleasantly surprised before. And I'd rather go up and check before going in anyway. It's the walls. And uh, that's the top of the lighthouse, isn't it? Okay, not much to see there, but what about this way? Along these walls. Nothing really to see. We could climb down there. Don't know if that would be worthwhile. Probably not. But I feel like well, the, that, the way near the Fleetmaster's office there that's hidden is the one that takes us towards the Naga, as is the other closed-off section. Mm, 
I don't know if there's anything we can do down near that storage tower. Let's try. Please, I should rest and tend to my wounds. Ouch! Aloth hurt himself again. It's always Aloth, isn't it? There we go. He's better now. Oh no, he's not. What the heck? Why does? Why is he not? Why is he not better? My word, he's not, he's not, um, I wonder. I'm going to give him the aged shark meat for a moment. Stop status ailments. Yeah, she's still got some kind of injury though. Okay. Regardless, we have to go this way, I think. Oh, I can see our cat making a wave behind us. Now, I don't think... Do you know what? We probably could have gone there. Probably even there. Well, it doesn't matter right now. I can't go that way. I just want to check out something else. It's annoying because I know I've got the... What I need to... Fire this bombard or whatever. But I don't have any am... Well, I do have ammunition. I don't have any way of turning the thing. So I've lost the shell. Failure. Yeah, it doesn't matter who tries to push it, none of us are strong enough. Okay, it's loaded. But we need to find a way of turning it. Surprised we didn't find like some grease or something at the uh, in the kitchen. Yeah, we went there already. That we could have used, you know, to to oil it up. All right, well, guys, see you later. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll leave them to their own troubles. What's over here? You Can we get over this? there? Of course. I'll take care of this. What's down here, I wonder? Nothing particularly useful, that's just my ship. And nowhere we can go at the bottom of those stairs. None of that's going to help me. What's up here? It's like nothing particularly helpful there either. So what then? I really want to use that that bombard. There was a, more than one person in this building. I didn't speak to anyone but one of them. Maybe somebody there has an idea how I can loosen it up. Hopefully. Okay, let's see, that's the hero who we spoke to before. I, is there anything else? Seems Are to be stored an awful lot of black powder needed? here. For what? The dead fire is a savage play, but our people conquered Rawatai two millennia ago. Ah, okay. That's great, that's no help to me. They're saying we're going to let this pirate rummage through your fortress. Um, well, they might not have any choice. Because it seems like I'm the only one willing to actually do something about this. A 
I really want to... I really want to blow those Naga up, though. <laughs> like, I could go and fight them with my sword, with our weapons. Just a regular stand-up fight, but I want to see this. It seems exciting. Uh, okay, let's have a quick... Nothing of interest with those bodies. Did I go down here? I don't think there's anything actually here, but... Nothing to see. I wonder... I don't think any of these are what we want to, to take down, but... Oh, what are you doing? Right, all the barrels are destroyed, there was nothing in any of them. That was any use for helping with this. There's nothing we can do there. Um... Regardless of what I do, I can't get across that section. Maybe as well just to walk down the stairs. Well, we might have to fight these things. Check one last thing. No, do you know what? Let's save our game. And if we get past them, we'll continue. If we get killed, we'll reload and not fight them. I think that's probably a better idea. The season of harvest is here. Yep, it is. Let's do this. That one. Now that one. Now, that one. Now... There's too many of them. Now that one. Okay, they just keep coming, don't they? We have to destroy that totem. And now the shaman. And this warrior. Nice plight. Is that another shaman? No, just an archer. Ice blight in the middle. Last enemy. So we didn't really need to use the explosives in the first, the bombard in the first place. Right, there's got to be some more naga up here, surely. Well, I'm surprised. Well, let's just clear out another area. It's got to be the lighthouse then. Quickest way for us to get to the lighthouse area is to go up here. You can't climb up this the other way, I don't think. Oh, you might be able to. Climb. Saves me some time. We can go straight to the lighthouse this way. Oh, that's like a path out of town. But the gates are all blocked off, so... I don't suppose we'll be doing that. Okay, the only other place to go is this lighthouse. I think. 
Now we find it's locked or something. No, it's not. It's really full of bad guys. Maybe we'll be able to see Aethys from the top of the lighthouse. Doubtful, because he's been gone a couple of days and he's huge, so I think he walks pretty fast. Uh, okay, so we've got to connect with the Lumisadra. The the They're blasphemy, he just knows no bounds. I need to approach the Adra. See what the impiety, the sandstripe shufflers know better. But you others we come with blasphemous now, hunger. Foreign ones dig at these roots, and the deep hunter is with us no more. Now the gods return to rain their punishment on these mm. islands again. You're saying that they've brought rain, ruin on Deadfire before? The stories say nothing of the many disasters. Of the shuffler nests washed away like foam. Oh, not if you don't tell us about them, no. The sand striped ones built great hives across the islands. And sand striped? The ancestors, yes. Their meddling displeased the gods. So the gods smashed their works with heaving volcanoes and crashing waves. Yeah, that sounds like the gods. Our ancestors oh, Zoe doesn't like that, but it's true. The fires I think we know a bit more than her. They remembered while shufflers scattered. Now the shufflers build again. The gods see. Okay. They will tear them all down. I'm a watcher. I can restore it if you let me. If your fat tongue speaks true, then give us proof. Uh, Adra is not a root that withers, but channel of essence. If this is not some fat lie then show us approach restore the blessing of the gods to the Adra okay so if I restore the Adra he will probably As your hand touches the dim leave me alone but you feel the same cool pricking sensation that you did when you touch the pillar near Port Maje. you concentrate on the pillar the world around you swiftly falls away, leaving only the vast empty okay. For a second time, you gather the threads I'm gathering and threads in my mind together, forming a solid tether that ripples out toward its distant anchor. Again, a crack sounds from the terminus. Your consciousness is violently pulled along. It's like we're meeting Aethus again. We're prepared for the sensation that's we find ourselves behind a familiar statue. To a sudden stop, standing at Aethys's shoulder. You're Will they notice us again? By the massive god's form. Energy mm -hmm. pulses along the tether, each wave feeding the Audra's movements. He stops. His head cranes behind He's interested in why we keep following him, probably. By the sound of stone shearing and buckling. His eyes rest upon you. He does not reach for the cord. But considers you for a long span of silence before speaking. Your first attempt to contact me mm. was brave. This second attempt, is it born out of desperation or something else? Why do you continue to follow me, Watcher of Cadnua? Yes, Perhaps insists. they must want answers. But why do the biddings of the gods matter to you? Hallowed Knight will claim my life. Morgan. To be a god's pawn. Feels better than having someone demolish my castle. Did, but it was done for the hope of a better future. It is barely an explanation, like when the gods set foot to Aora, the mountains tremble and the seas roil. Hmm. The moon falls from the heavens, and the sky blackens with ash. It is not fair. It is not just. Like the storm. You saying the actions of the gods are I beyond reason? For those I have harmed, but it is not enough to care. Hmm. What I have done, what I do, is done out of love, and love requires sacrifices, sometimes awful ones. Aethys becomes okay. silent. You can sense his presence. Oh, what's he doing? 
strung the cord between you. This energy flows over your hand. Tens What's you gonna do to me? Probing into the air around you. They poke and prod at the silent lost souls hovering in your vicinity. You are in a unique position. In I've seen through the, the facade. I know what the gods are, he's right. You have seen through our facade. You know the gods true nature. Without the benefit of your knowledge, few mortals would be willing to accept the true history of their gods. After all, we weren't. <laughs> the last time I walked Aora, I made a mistake in not revealing my true purpose. I believe you would understand it better than most. Well, then what are you waiting after for? After we are finished here, I'm certain they will call for you at the hour of their choosing. Won't they, Watcher? Probably, yeah. They did last time. Yes, I will tell you. But this is not the time. As I take this body farther from the lighthouse, the tether He's... grows weaker. And I have already ah. taken it too long. Now that's interesting. Soon this link will unravel completely. If I have not reached my destination when that happens, I will need to pull more souls from your world. Where are you going? I'll meet you there. This massive form blur and dissolve. The huge figure retreats from you. He's actually going to tell me? The tether begins to rapidly unravel. As Aethys speaks, his voice sounds garbled. I can barely hear him and understand him. If you would know more, find me at the Ashen Maw. In the Ashen Maw. I must rest there before I begin my final work. When I leave that place, you will not be able to follow. Right. Before I go, I should return some of this to you. He's given me some of my soul the back. Power of your soul, but I can spare you this portion. A pulse of energy moves back along the golden cord toward you. It feels familiar, comforting. Even before it contacts you, the energy right. washes over you, flooding you with feelings and memories. So remembering Not things. Long, and then the tether and cord snap. Heat rushes over you, and the uncomfortable okay. sensation of the Audra Pillar's presence cuts off. The okay, we're back in the lighthouse. The Adra is lit. So will the Naga leave me alone? Long have we kept peace with the sand-striped people. Good. But then, the foreign ones came and spread. Killed our people. Built their hives everywhere. We were that was sure wrong of them. That Godwalker came to cast them out. That driving them away was a holy mission. Hmm. Slaughter is never a holy mission. To defend something, very fortunate we must go. I know not what this means, but our brethren should hear of it. You show us Good something plan. new today, Shuffler. Thank you for this, and for your mercy. Oh, he's given me something. A strand of favor. Well, we've done that, so... Can I destroy this thing that they've left? You don't mind, just it's kind of in the way. Okay, let's see what's around us before... Oh, not much, it looks like, actually. I thought these were like shelves. We've got steps at either side, both of which I guess will take us to the top of the lighthouse. And we got rid of the Naga! Will those people thank us? Who really knows? But there we are, the lighthouse is active again. Oh my god, that was a grenade. And a dog, not a dog, that was a cat, clearly. A dog. Wait a minute. Did both of those paths lead to the same place? 
can't see the other path. Well, let's see, because I think we went up the one on the left. That won't show us which one we came down anyway. I can't remember. So... Probably doesn't matter that much. Let me just check something actually. Yeah, it's just the stairs up the up the lighthouse regardless. Well, okay, we've done this. I feel like that's all we had to do. Uh, yeah. We've got to head to the Ashen Maw. And there's nothing else there of any interest really. Well, okay, let's move on. Not much to see in this place. Because Aethus destroyed it and the Naga killed everyone. That's what they do. Still, here they go, look, they're, they're leaving. I'd known there were that many in the water. Oh, well, you might not have wanted to fight them. Well, it doesn't really matter now, we've done it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Love hugging big shiny rocks much as the next freebooter. But mayhaps she wants to be explained in the whole insensate drooling bit, Captain. Insensate drooling? I was rather hoping someone else would bring that up. What? Something to tell us. You don't look like you're gonna be sick this time. So I take it that's a good sign? Hmm. He's heading to somewhere called Magrin's Teeth. That sounds ominous. You steady on your feet, Cap. Don't need a swig or nothing. Hmm. Doing fine, really. Alright then. Let's do this. What? Yeah, let's keep moving. If I can work out a way to get out of here. Come on. Uh, not that way. But maybe this way. And then I guess this way. Will take us to where we want to go. Or will that just take us to one little... That's all it's done, it's taken us to one thing that wasn't particularly interesting. And we can't get past all those blocks, so yeah, we have to go back up through that house. Or, yeah, it'd be quicker anyway to go up here and then down that wall. And what is going on here? Getting stuck in bloody puddles. Now what are you doing? There's a very specific and unmarked path that we're supposed to follow. <laughs> okay, well let's keep moving. Let's get out of here, get on the ship and head towards Magrin's Teeth. Here's where I go and climb down here and someone dies. Permanently. Looks like everyone made it without any issue this time. So back to the ship. We can tell them that the Naga have left. And we didn't have to blow anything up. And even, I mean, that group, okay, you know, it was suggested. Look at our beacon. Oh, here she Even is. The Colossus couldn't destroy it. And those snakes aren't so tough now, are they? I think you mean good job. Of course. 
The Hamzanui will want to thank you personally for your help here. And she should also know what we're up against. Where is the Hazanui? She's usually at the Brass Citadel in Nakataka. Oh well, I'm headed to Magdren's like teeth, so... What you did to those scale bellies? <laughs> the only thing I know about the place uh -huh. is it's supposed to be made of fire. And no one's ever come back from it, but... It's made of fire and no one's ever come back. Sounds like my kind of place. Yeah, whatever. Idiots. Idiots, the lot of them. So then. It looked like there was an option for going to the the Hazanui there in um, Nekataka, but really, why? <laughs> why would we? Oh my! What's this about? Why are we being surrounded by dead fire ships? Oh, it's Atsura. See you again. I can see you continue to leave your mark. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. We've restored an asset. I need to reach the Ashen Maw and Magrin's Teeth. I'm sure it is treacherous, but that's where I need to go. She su he suspects Queen Onikaza could direct me. Hmm. So they want me to visit the Queen. Why do they want me to visit the Queen? And Magrin's Teeth's not on my maps, anyway. Oh, there's the Ashen Maw. Ooh, looks dangerous. Fine, let's return to Neck Attacker, even though that's not where I wanted to go at all. I also need to be on the lookout for any of the people... Oh, that is one of the people I need to face. Chornu. Chornu, whatever. Yes, up there, please. That way. We need to board a ship and take him. Is that him? Yes, it is. Get him. He needs to die. Well, it's a bounty <laughs> that we needed to turn in, so. One of the few that are left. Not sure who that one gets turned into, mind you. But we may as well have the fight. I think we overwhelmed them a little bit anyway. Yeah, there's not very many of them on the ship, is there? Come on! Kill them all! Someone's boarded our ship up there! Nice! Who's left on their ship? Nobody. Is that one of them? No, it's one of ours. Looks like we're done. How's our morale looking? Share the coins with the crew. 
and do that. Let's get going. Another bounty complete. Great. It seems to me, unless there's more to this AFS thing, but it seems to me that that would almost suggest that the main storyline is almost done. Right, let's just check our mission's bounty with Chornu. That's Lifter's Refuge and Dunnage. We're not going to Dunnage right now, but we could go there later. Um, Aethos. I don't think we're going to see any of these other bounties while we're here. And I do need to go to the palace at Neck Attacker though. Yes, please. Continue our journey. I'm just seeing if there is anyone there that stands out as any of the quests we're supposed to do, but I don't think so. Dasilla, Tahai, Harangi. No, it was Burunga. A colourful parrot lands on the ship. A missive bound to its legs bears the sigil of the Kahanga tribe. We'll read it. My honor to host the saviour of Asongo at the Kahanga Palace. The neck attack is a city for Juana and outsiders like, and there's no shortage of work for Kith who are determined to be as useful as you. The palace atop Serpent's Crown could be your second home. Think on it. Well, I'm going there, but who's this, by the way, just out of interest? Just a Juana expert captain. Neck attack is down there, so we'll just go there ourselves. Who's that? Thanic. I don't think that's one of the people we're supposed to kill. No. Kahanga Palace it is. If we don't get attacked by someone else on the way. You blink. Although and find yourself standing in ah, the middle grass of an endless field with the day just falling into dusk then is this the god speaking fall. to me again the wind ceases and you are sent tumbling up into the dark of the sky what? Oh, we're falling out the voice oh, of the pallid night shakes the earth at your feet you have returned to Bareth's realm your soul once more called to attend the wishes of the god of death Heck. You I'm starting to like certain, look forward to these chats. Think you might see the barest hint of a smile. Once again, Possibly. You have spoken with the child of light. Tell I me have. what you have learned. He makes for Magrin's teeth. While attend. Tell me what your many eyes perceive. Her words Wiles not going to speak, I thought. In the silence breaks the murmur of countless voices. What is this? They speak all at once in languages oh, yes, because known. And Wild doesn't to like to be known, so it takes on any and all forms. Followed fast by several more. They are round, keen eyes of kith, the slit eyes of snakes, the eyes of a variety of types. Of Here we are. Oh, and a voice of many. Of eyes, as one might step through a door. It is an Orlan, then a pale elf, an ocean human, a naga. Each of them, eyeless. They are well. This is the yep. first interesting thing to happen in ages. And we do oh, so They love a riddle. riddle. The oh yeah, it's interesting when hundreds of kith die. To be found again. You knew that once, when you buried my scroll beneath the earth in Black Meadow. But it seems you have forgotten. We have read the book of your life, Watcher. Mm. It's heavy with the weight, heavy of, with the weight of my choices. And its pages are not unmarred by the blood of others. We see between the strings of the world. And Eosis is there, strong. He knows all the secret things. His tongue is still. Yet he sings of a coming joy. What tune he plays, we do not know. I don't know either. It is complex, ever shifting. One moment vibrating in harmony, the next in discord. A man strides through the door to bear. Oh, who's this now? Behind him look wolves with lolling tongues. 
and jungle cats whose long tails twitch with every step. Gallowayne, the changeling, arrives. That Gallowayne. And he brings with him the wild heart of Ayora's untamed places. Fast sure. on Gallowayne's heels, a small wave of seawater washes across the tiles. Uh oh. It pours off the edge of the platform and cascades down into the beyond. From out of the water rears a glowing lure. Andra. Then the head of a gigantic fish. The round black eyes of Andra. Nice. Roll to meet yours. Just noticed Andra there. Uh, okay. I admire his nerve. What just happened? What just happened? In the changeling's voice, you hear the soft patter of I've got no picture. Leaves, and the rush of wind through. No, he is a creature of the pack left alone. One sec. Without our... I have no picture. If his journey. Aethis does not return to us. The doors lining the walls of Bareth's realm warped pieces of ink finally. A blacksmith's sledge hurt a man made half of metal and half Where did of the picture go? Skin. The rounded metal of a well worn sh I'm going to click the game and reload. But I do that I'll have to through the whole thing again. I'm going to skip the whole. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why the screen went off. But because of that, I've missed the entire thing that the god said to me there. I think I selected an option. Because something popped up on the screen as I was about to select the next answer to something. Took over. Quite frustrating. All right, wait. I, I actually have no picture here either. Right, I'll have to close the game. Come back until we'll be back in a moment. Sorry, for some reason the picture totally disappeared. For me, I don't know if it did for you. I completely blank screen. But then when I press start, I got a pause screen. Okay, no, there's nothing on the loading screen either. That's interesting. Well, it's working now. I'm just concerned about what my autosave is going to be, where it was. This could be bad. I'm hoping it's not too far back. If it ever lets me load my game. Right, let's see. Wait, what? Below decks? Oh, that would be probably where I would have woken up. Let's see if I actually can. If, um... If the picture's the same again, it's probably going to draw a pretty quick close to tonight's um, stream. If something has messed with the picture. I don't know what it was. When I look when I watch back on the stream, I'll see if I can catch. Well, first of all, whether anything at least it's a picture now. My lord, what do you require? Yeah, farewell. Where where am I? Okay, well, everything seems to be correct. Why am I...
Why am I on the deck of my ship? And more importantly, where am I? Is this before this whole conversation took place? I might have to go through that whole conversation again. It's looking like I might. Very much have to. Because when we last did that, it sent us up to... I don't know, that was strange. Let's forget about that and just hope that everything goes smoothly now. Right, now I want to go to Serpent's Crown and to Kahanga Palace. And that's when we got this video coming up. When I went to Kahanga Palace. I don't know if it saved after that conversation or not. No idea, because I don't even know what happened for the rest of it. I didn't know what responses I was giving them, or <laughs> anything like that. Okay, well, looks like that conversation's dealt with regardless. So let's go back to... Hey, she's not here. Where's the queen? Your coming is a favorable omen already. And how's that? By a time when our rivals. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see how the gods send us an outsider to dig under the skin of our enemies. You seem to take your rivals very seriously, anyway. Like a pair of birds. I will not paddle around the island. Great. My sister wants to know if you Ikira. But I hear okay. whispers that you visited the Hazanu. Too much has happened for you to waste yeah, time with the royal brother. From now on, you work with Onikaza as an honored guest of her rooftop garden. Oh, her rooftop garden. And how did I get there? Up those stairs? I guess, I don't know. Let me just check the map, just to double check. There's a Shrine of Helia there. Which I'm not going to use. I'm going to say that I doubt it's up these stairs. There's the upper floor, so... Ouch. There's probably other quests we can pick up in here while we're here too. Not too concerned about that right at this minute. But I do want to find out what this rooftop garden's all about. Because I guess that's where the queen is. Queen's rooftop garden. Well, that's not her. Where is she? That's not who I'm looking for. There she is, Queen Onikaza. Away from the exhaustive filter of the court, my children. Go on then. Hopa and Tangaloa. It is to them that I answer when dignitaries do not pound at my door. I think I see all of us when I say we'd be honored to pet your children. Go on then. The trick with cats, of course, is you gotta ignore them first. You got to ignore the cats first. Of one mind. My mother taught me to bait an enemy into the open, give it comfort, 
and confidence. A messenger from the jaws of Tangaloa speaks with the voice of wisdom and change, I say. It is fitting that yours should Good. be the voice that tells of Hasongo's fate. What did you see there? Some Naga were there. The snakes are on edge. Where comes this new boldness? Far be it for me to complain if they make trouble for outsiders. What is <laughs> this? If you know why he terrorizes the dead fire, speak on. And to meet him at the great volcano of Ashen Mall. If he fears neither ocean nor magma, I wonder that anything. Yeah, can anything stop him? If Aethys makes for Magrin's teeth, I say the Rathun will grind him to dust for the praise of their warrior matron. Does that seem likely? It will be an enemy cleared for my plate. This is the gratitude of Nagati, I say. The Rathun? The children of Magrin devoted to their mother with a fanatic zeal. Bothersome, but the least of my troubles now. From Port Maje right. to Hasongo to Magrin's teeth. Aethys follows a rich vein of Adra. It takes him northeast. Oh, she knows where it leads him. Interesting territory. In the deepest memory, yeah, somewhere of the he said I couldn't leave. Told stories of Magrin's teeth. Embellished yeah. sailors' fables, Akira. But not without some truth. My people speak right. of treacherous seas. They tell people not to go there. And the ancient warriors hammered to life on Magrin's anvil. Ashen Maw is the grandest and most accessible of the peaks. It is the sharpest tooth in Magrin's jaw. Prepare yourself for a fight. If I will. Make preparations in Nekataka, I say we can help each other. I must. She can help me in peace. what way? And I have only so many arms and eyes. While the dead fire screams, I would see Nekataka outlast the storm to come. What and what I do you need from me? Lasting peace that will outlive well, I can't promise dynasty. you that. What do you know of my water shapers, Herald of Bereth? I know they gave Rotai no end of trouble. Akira, if you recall history, then you know why I am protective over the guild. My water shapers are the uh -huh. lady holding back Rawatai's advance. An adept standing at the prow of a war canoe is enough to send the fleet scrambling for the shallows. This reminds me. I owe the Hazanui a basket of koiki in remembrance of the Battle of Nakaroatl. Akira, okay. you think so? Is it kind? I am counting on the Hazanui seeing through my condolences. While the problem is <laughs> she wants to be she did want it to be nasty. Plague these waters. I have summoned the masters of water shaping to Nekataka. Oh. Is the Avatar there? It would be the time to confer with Guildmaster Myru, but she does not answer my summons. Do you think something's wrong? It's too early to grow a forest from this coconut, but I would not dispatch you if I felt at ease. So you want me to go and speak to the water shapers? If Myru shirks her duties, her queen would know the reason. Nagati, do not abandon us now. Who cares? Speak to Guildmaster Myru in the Guild of Water Shapers. We have uh, some level up options available to us. Right. Next time round, I'll choose something else on that tree. Uh, my athletics is now up, I think, high enough to be helpful. Uh, my diplomacy, too. Oh, I can unlock these skills now. Uh, two abilities. That sounds good. And... Oh, I can get something that allows me to recover and come back to life if I'm killed. That's great, but I want this. Damage boost to the weapons I'm proficient with. And again, we're using two-handed weapons, although I have also got firearms down as a thing, so maybe we'll do that. Level up. His sleight of hand's high enough for now, so let's do explosives. Get someone well versed in those. Mm. That'll do. Now what have we got down here? 
two abilities, defensive mind web. <laughs> Any incoming attack must overcome the highest applicable defense of anyone in the web. Hmm. Well, that one sounds interesting for now, but the others do, do sound okay. So we might come back to that at some point. That'll do. I'm here. And Aloth, though he should have some nice new spells available to him. Right, his Arcana skills plenty. I could do with everyone being a little better versed in stealth. And he'll be our the group's historian. <laughs> uh, okay, so what have we got? We have spells. I can choose two abilities. But with him you get some good spells. Uh, Wilting Wind... No... Major Grimoire Imprint. I can cast Stolen Spells. Calcos Freezing Rake. All of many colours. I think we'll take that one. And I'll just upgrade something here because it needs to be done. Wouldn't hurt for him to have that as well. And we'll just give him this. Okay, hers is alchemy right now, but I'm going to give her stealth too, because I want everyone to be decent at it. And metaphysics. Oh, I didn't take that yet, that's annoying. Because... Yeah, that'll have to do for now. That's fine. And last but not least, his mechanic skills more than enough. Someone else is learning explosives. Well, I'm going to boost his athletic skill because he could do with some more. What else was I putting him up on? Streetwise, we'll put that up to 10 first before we change to something else. And he needs to take. See now. Because he's obviously a dual class, take that. No, I won't. In fact, no, no. What I'm gonna do I might start taking a few more passives for him on the warrior side. Sap, confuse and hobble targets. Yeah, I like that. And he uses single handed weapons, bladed mainly. Right, there we go, we're ready to leave again. Well, if we can go straight out, that would be a lot easier. So, she wants us to go to the Water Shapers Guild. I believe it's in this area, so we could maybe go and have a look at it. Or is it... No, it's in... It's in the neck, the other... The place next to it. Pariki's Overlook, that's what I was thinking of. Maybe this was the wrong way to go. Gervard Calder. He's going to be another one that can train us, probably. Oh, blah, blah. What are you doing in Deadfire? Adventure. Ah, right. 
And though I dare say I'm little use in a fist fight, he's charting interior wildernesses. Ah, but it's worth it, but truly, if I could only inspire others, anyway, enough of my great. Oh, can you teach me what you've learned? Absolute pleasure. Very yeah, why not? We got Gervard's training. Well, so all that's going to do is take us up to the rooftop again. So I should have just got inside the palace. Oh well. But we got his training. Like it really matters. And his particular field of expertise. Oh my god, I was just looking at a, a menu for something. A uh, local chip shop. And uh, yes, they've chosen to do deep fried cream eggs. Only 99p apparently. I'm not going to give you the name of the place because cause I'm not. But that's horrible. Yes, you heard it here first. A Scotsman that says it's disgusting. To have deep fried chocolate. As if I needed to tell anyone that. Did I arrive on... Well, I renamed my galleon as Kraken. Because it really is a Kraken ship. Yeah. That wasn't the reason. <laughs> but it sounded good. At least until I said it. <laughs> Thank you again. The Harapo yeah, Epic whatever. is in the right hands at last. She's happy that the Harapo Epic is in the right hands. Why can I not open the map? Or anything else? There we go, I don't know why that wasn't working right. There's a road to the east. Yeah. Um, it's Pariki's Overlook I want to go to, which is where the Water Shapers Guild are. So if I go this way, it's probably the quickest way to get there. No one of any real interest walking by anyway. Um, I want to go to the Water Shapers Guild, but I can't because I've never gone there before. Because I saw it, I remember, I think I walked past it and I was like, oh, I don't want to go in there, I'll get more missions. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously there's some you have to do. I say have to. You can do if you want. It's probably more like it. That's probably more like it. Okay, Water Shapers Guild. What does that say? Archimere robbed, burglar on the loose. Yeah, that was me. See you later. I think he was trying to... He was trying to say something. Well, let's see why the Water Shapers aren't in touch with the Queen. Maybe they've been overrun. Or go in and the place will be full of tigers. I don't think so. 
And if it is, well, we can just run. Everybody's dead. There were... Her eyes well with tears as constant as rain. Pity doesn't get you, Lady of Lament. Why have the Naga come here and killed everyone? I mean, you know, it's cool and everything, it saves me having to fight anyone. <laughs> There's no one here to see me stealing anything. So we may as well. Right, who's up here? There is a situation in the guild hall. There's a situation in the guild hall. But the building is closed until Myru cleans up the mess below. Onikaza sent me to speak with her. What's going on? Of us, I say. Naga swam in from the waterways of our sanctum. Okay. We pressed back until they fled underground. I am to guard the staircase while she routes the last of them. The Kira, but Myru is fierce for her years. Why haven't you summoned help? Onikaza knows we can walk over a few snakes, Myru though. If it is a few, I say she would not turn down reinforcements. I hope she leaves something for me. I say you will have to run. I will remain and dispatch any snakes who slither past you. Good hunting. Myru forbade me from following her, but I say Ingati would not want me to miss this. I'll take all the help I can get. Ingati's chosen will bring his foot down on the. Awesome. Uh, he can be a druid then. But do I want to take anyone out of my party? No, not really. See you later. Let's go down the stairs and see what we can help out with. I wonder if that guy will disappear out of our potential party. I could probably do with going through some of the people actually. Because there's people I picked up near the beginning of the game who are probably needing about a million level ups. Apparently not. Yeah, so do I, and the best thing for us to do would be to just go straight ahead and attack them. Go on, attack! And you! What's around us? A lot of bodies. A lot of water shapers' robes. How did they get past? That makes me think. I don't know. I think we found the guildmaster. Too many. She's looking at me. Even for me. Onikaza sent me to find you. I think you need help. The rod of the deep. The rod of the deep. Oh, they took something from her. Get through the stone door by the entrance. Wards. I'll find the rod. Just try and stay with me. Hurry before it escapes. I haven't seen any wards. Okay, so. Wheel. At least in death, I She's on the wheel. Thought. My rod and the words of Pariki's devotion will open the way to the inner sanctum, past the okay. sealed door. Pitied is Ngati, Lady of Lament, as the pearl is this of the her telling us her view, the words. Her eyes well with tears, as constant as rain. 
but the moon's skyward journey continues apace. The lover's affection, as ephemeral as fingers touching. You must strengthen the wards, no matter what it tells you. Thank you, Mary. Rest well. Okay. Can you disarm the trap? Oh yeah, I'll take that stuff. The statue depicts no more women. Inspect a lingering soul. Step back and aim a reproachful look at your mate, however friendly his intent. You know there'll be time for reprieve when you're squared away in Nekataka. Something cuts through the water to your port side in an enormous shape. I've just noticed an enemy over there. Eyes to the horizon, I say. Attempt to read the plaque. Laura and Hunter cross the length of and back again, membered for cunning deal, Laphus. I was personally marred. Okay. Take her hand. A tiny tear. Wipe away the tear. And leave. I just noticed this guy over here. I have to take him down. There we go. Now where's this rod that she wants us to find? Use it to open the stone door by the entrance to the sanctum. So did they go down there? There's no stone door there, so I suppose they must have done. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna go up the top first. Steal that stuff. Actually, not much to find in this section, so antidotes, some potions. Nothing particularly troublesome. Two sets of stairs that seem to take us to the same place. Ink harp. Let's do it. Ziha. Obviously some kind of leader. There we go. Other ones. And that one. There's a path up the top there. Maybe I'll find this rod here. Rod of the Deep Hunter. So where exactly... Open the stone door near the entrance to the sanctum. Okay, where's the sanctum? Is that over this way? Is that a path we can follow, or is that... Send sharply to the murky waters. There's no telling how far it goes. I guess we're not supposed to go that way then. So, a door in the sanctum. By the entrance to this chamber, she says. Indeed. Not there. There's a stone door, she says. Near the entrance. Or next to the entrance. I don't know where she means. Oh wait, that'll be it. Is it? No, that's not a door. So what's this door she's talking about? I 
don't see one anywhere. We've been all the way round. Oh, it's in the corner of the room. I didn't even see it when I was at the top. But it's there. Okay. So it's right up at the top. Like up there. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, touch the door. Look at the symbols. Full moon. Andra. Hands. Rain. Ngati would not have gifted her chosen people a watery covenant unless they persisted in deserving it. Okay, one sec. She said we needed to... Lady Ngati, Lady of Lament, as the pearl orb of the heavens crosses her... Pearl orb, eyes, moon. Does that help? Does that help at all? Um, don't know if it does actually. Go back again. Read that one more time. Ngati is the, the fish. Pearl orb is there. There's nothing about eyes. Don't know. Orb. And Gatti's like the fish. Then the orb. Oh, her eyes well with tears could be the rain, the rain cloud. And then the moon. Okay, so fish. Orb. Okay. Yeah, so fish. Then... Well, that must be the orb, right? Oh, and then was it the clouds? And then the hands? Doesn't seem like I'm unlocking things in the right order. Done that wrong again. Rain. Yeah, I'm not doing it in the right order, that's fine. So that's the moon first, right? Let me let me look at this thing one more time. Petit Ngati, Lady of Lament. Fingers touching's the last one. Ah, now I understand. Let's just do uh, this. Let me use this as a thing to write on. Pearl orb. Oh, but then the moon. Let me think. Right, hang on. Ngati. He's like the, the fish sort of person. Uh, pearl orb. Rain. Unless it all ties in. Moon. But I know because it only asks for four. And fingers. Right? So, with that in mind, let 
Let's try a couple of combinations that make sense around that. Alright. That's the moon. Rain. Two hands. Ah, that's not a representation of Ngati. So we can ignore that then. In which case it should be... Let's just go where it wants. Okay, so I want that. I hope. <laughs> and then the rain cloud. Yeah. And then the moon again. No. That must be need to be rotated in a different order. Okay, well I reckon... Okay, so it's... Hmm. Moon. I think I've done this wrong. Let's try something. The rain. The hands. Hmm. Not in the right order. What about... Is Ngati not another name for... Ondra? Maybe I'm wrong. Pale Orb. Try that. Then the rain. Fingers. This doesn't seem like I'm unlocking in the right order. I'm gonna to have to find out what the order is because this is annoying me. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to spend three hours doing this, so. And there we go, the Ngati door. As a puzzle, I just want to see exactly how it works. Oh, go away. Right, let me see, let me see. So it's orb, fish, hands, rain. Orb, fish, hands, rain. That doesn't make a great deal of sense, but okay. Orb. Fish. Hands. Someone told me that was the right way to do it. It was not. Oh, hang on. Let me try... I just realised that was just numbering all the things. So it looks like it should be this one. And then the moon. Which I'm sure we've tried already. Rain clouds. Oh, maybe we're right this time. And the hands. Again. Apparently that's not the right... Hmm. That's supposedly the right answer and yet that didn't work.
punch the door. And I've just hurt myself. That's a great idea. Study the symbols. Full moon. Andra. Depicted with the head of an anglerfish in her aspect as in Gatti. Pair of hands. Rain. Read the inscription. Ngati would not have gifted her chosen people a watery covenant unless they persisted in deserving it. Oh, that... Hang on. I'm going to try and check it somewhere else, just in case someone's given a completely different... See, this is what I wondered. Right, I'm going to try something else. Okay. Then the moon. Then the rain cloud. Then the moon again. Well, this might be right this time. And then finally the hands. Yes! We will of course go through the passage. Now we don't have a choice, we have to go through. No matter what's down here. Oh, it's a dragon. Now I feel silly. What should I do with Skyori Alpha? Skyori Skyori I don't know. This would be a great fishing story. Got away. It's fucking sweet. It would. Right there, be a right bonny beast in and off. Oh my god, it's... Why have they kept it down here? And I'll bet smart as a whip and just as mean. Have you come to deliver me from this prison of my own making? Who are you? I am Scary Lafus. Guardian of Scary Lafus. Ever consider a nickname? No. Just give it some thought. Is all I'm saying. I take it you're the one causing the city to shake. He's confined. confined. The same. One by one. Oh, I see. He's trying to stop the wards. These are the wards she's telling us about. Yeah. The foundation of their lies. I've got more cost to trust them than you. In the... You stand in the sanctum of the water shapers. Those who make parlor tricks of Ungati's art. An art in True. decline. The Huana Covenant has failed. What One covenant? Struck in a different time. When the gods showered devotion on the Huana. The guild hides how the okay. acolytes struggle. Their ancestral forms no longer respond as they once did. Soon there'll be no war shapers. When their mighty talent went into decline. I gave the Huana the strength to raise the. Ah, so he's been giving them the power. Generosity. They bound them to the chamber. chamber by my soul. And now the dead fire dies in my absence. Your soul's stuck here? Let me look. It's intriguing, he says. Hmm. His soul's been drained. You're the reason they're so powerful? Dead fire to their liking. Now their backs have turned Why? against Ungati's covenant. Their art is an echo of its former glory. The other water shapers didn't know it. Twisted the forms of her art, rather than give obeisance to Ungati. They draw from the wards. They draw from the wards of this prison. None but the masters of the guild ever knew this. I've looked into your soul, it's true. My duty to the archipelago is all that matters. Freedom comes like the tide. And 
The dead far heeds his call. I sense a rod among your belongings. My gift to yep. Ricky. My covenant with the Huana. Another broken promise. This is where she told me to, to sort the wards out. Obey the enchantments of this prison and can destroy them. It can set me free. What happens to your captors if I do that? Their doom. I will not mourn their passing. Neither will I speed it along while they stand against the foreign tide. Letting you go deprives the, the water shapers of a useful asset. If they are worthy, they will endure. Those who are wise will remember their covenant with ancient Ngati. Uh, Onakaza would have me killed if I set you free. They may not know of me, but she is complicit in this crime all the same. I have questions about you first. Tolerate your curiosity. What if we excise the imprisoned no. portion of your soul? My soul is not for the taking. Not by you. Or any of the outsider spirit thieves. Hey, no one's taking your soul, we're just letting most of you free. You have a plan for this mad scheme of yours? I'll have to take a closer look at the ward stones. Very well. I give you one chance. Time has weakened the wards enough that I can. Time has weakened the wards. Betray me, and you'll summon many waves of Naga. Sure, okay. Enchantments coursing through the stonework keep the dragon tethered. Spells of imprisonment look more recent. The siphoning enchantment merely sips at his essence and disperses it elsewhere. We think it could be used to store the essence. Let's try it. Okay, I don't really have much of a choice then. I have to strengthen the spell. If you are too dense to break these wards, then I ask you to leave them alone. My mistake, I can fix it. It's fine, it's done. Uh, strengthen the spell. I warned you, he says. Oh, looks like we got to fight him now. That's a shame. And he looks pretty tough. I say that, he's... Down to half health almost already. And we're not losing that much. But here comes some... He's, he's siphoning water. But when he dies, it doesn't matter. Prison has taken too much from me. I yield. I'm taking another look at the wards. I trust you won't interfere. I am not strong enough to protest. We'll just do that. It's the only one that gets me the support I need. You are the only monster here. Couldn't hear you, I was too busy looking forward to feeling the sun on my face. Okay, well, there you go. Skiorialaphus, or whatever your name is. He's stuck down here now. But most of the water shapers are dead, so was it worth it? I don't know, we'll go back to her, finish this quest, and then that's going to be where we end for today before moving on to look for Aethus again next time. Okay, let's get out of here. Onikaza will want your report, I say. All this she probably will. Sanctum, as it should be. Yeah, pay all those people that died, though, eh?
Just a shame. Never mind. Hmm. Interesting. Come on now. There we go, right, let's get back to the Queen. And then we can move on. That's what I need to do, actually, because all of them have got things they want to talk to me about. Possibly, possible potential quests or whatever. Um, right, I want the rooftop garden. And talk to my teammates just to see if there's anything they want to talk to me about. Seems like they might. Can only do that on the ship though. Well, we're not going to do that today. Okay, let's talk to the Queen. What madness has its clutches around Periki's overlook? The nothing but panic and contradiction make their way to my ears. Tell me what happened. Ag invaded the guild to rescue an ancient sea dragon. So his was the heart I felt beating in my city. For what did the guild endanger yeah. my city with this creature? I will hear my ruse report. Uh, Periki captured the dragon long ago and built the guild around his prison. She took up Nagati's art. I say her largest trophy was a secret, well kept. Kahanga legends tell yeah. us that our ancestors made compacts with the creatures of the dead fries. They certainly did. The Hauhua of the Wapua tribe. If she could soften the hearts of my cats, I say dragons are not beyond her. Speak on, Watcher. Yeah, he's not very nice. Tide swelling over the shore, I feel you are not finished. The dragon's prison wards strengthened the souls of your water shapers. Advantage in their lessons, I say, and my ruse after her, all at the cost of this beast's freedom. If water shaping is absolutely right, ancestors taught it. We cannot reckon how much of the original form we have lost. What became of the probably most of it? If the power of this beast strengthened our guild, he's in prison for now. The wards will hold. What Pariki did was no kindness, I say. But her actions helped students of the guild to learn our most sacred art. This is more valuable to me yeah. than every canon in Rawatai. Thank you, Watcher. Do you plan on keeping him there? Must have known this was no solution, only a bomb on a wound. When matters in the dead fire have calmed, I will visit the guild myself and speak to the beast. My water shaping masters will arrive soon. And I say the guild will be stronger for their guidance. I could send birds Good. to every Ranga and rally them to our cause. They need we the Wahaki. We need pure Juan. My brother calls the Wahaki okay. the last true Juana. He's severe on the Kahanga, but I do not call him wrong. The tribe doesn't say he's wrong. Hmm. Foreigners. Passing ships are attacked on sight, and explorers never make it back to the beach. I, have I like them already. To let the trading company see my teeth, but those days are behind us. Filling the seas with Wahaki canoes will strike terror in the heart of even Rawatai's iron fleet. Okay, I'll make contact and hope for the best. And return when you have an answer from the tribe, whether fair or foul. There is a phrase. Yeah, <laughs> if I get an answer, that's hilarious. Over crumbling mountains, across blighted seas. If you remember this, it could save your life. Okay, I'll remember that. If you must, but recall it when the time comes. The Wahaki. The Wahaki are not trusting. I get it. Okay, well, guys, uh, that's some pretty good questing we've done there. I think we got through quite a few things. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to drop a follow there on Mixer if that's where you're watching, or you know, if you're uh, on my YouTube channel, the Supernotus channel. Uh, please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription too. And I'll see you next time. For now though, thank you. And good night.